You don't lose money unless you sell it. Is that true? Guys, for the 6,089 times, uh, you know, we are not giving financial advice. None of what we say is financial advice. Please speak to a pro if you want that sort of advice. What we do is purely educational. Guys, there's some good news. We will be giving a free giveaway of our Fyro Pro program, which is worth more than 2,000 ringgit. Mm. And you can participate in getting it in the description of the comments where you can find the details. The deadline for this participation will be the 6th of March. So time is running out. Let's get to it. All right, guys, some groundbreaking facts for you. When you are experiencing an unrealized loss, you can do three things. Yes. Buy, sell, and hold. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah that's the only three things you can do. So, or cry, you know, I don't know. Yeah, or cry, yeah. Okay, so the first thing is, let's say if you plan to sell or you don't know when to sell, and but these are the few strategies that you may want to deploy if let's say you want to sell. So the number one is that, let's say if the business fundamentals has changed. Um, so for example, like revenue group are hot. Yeah. Uh, al although yep. there's like internal management issue, but if you actually study their, fun their financial side, the revenue and profits are actually dropping. Uh, the average, uh, sorry, the Average selling price per EDC terminal is also dropping. Mm -hmm. which competition. Yeah. Competition, yeah. And the latest news that they uh, announced was that they are diversifying their business into properties. Yeah, so I think this kind of signs can actually tell you that, hey, maybe their main core business is not really giving them- Without, even if yeah. you exclude all the stuff that's happening with yeah. the management. Yep, exactly. So when you see like businesses, for example, even revenue group uh, start to diversify, you know something is wrong with the fundamentals and it may not sustain uh, in the future. Yes. So that's a very simple one. Uh, and the second point here is obviously management. We also can use the same example, revenue group uh, hard, or maybe even uh, Top Glove, for example. So, so for Top Glove, I believe uh, Tan Sri Lim has been very gung-ho about the company's valuation. Mm -hmm. When he was at the peak, he said it was undervalued. When it's down, uh, I don't know whether he will say anything. Lah. We'll see. Yeah, so that's about it, about management. And you also want to know whether do they deliver, do they walk the talk? Yeah, that's yeah. very important. If it's just all talk, I mean, no, it's a story. Notice uh, it's a story so uh. far, how we don't talk about price action at all mm. right now is purely fundamentals. And that I think should be the focus. Yes. Right, the business, the management, and yes, what next? Yes, okay, so the third one is catalyst. Uh -huh. Yeah, if let's say the business uh, doesn't really have any catalyst, and then, uh, so for example, like the uh, rubber glove, for example, the catalyst is slowly dropping already. And you actually, back in 2021, maybe you already know that it's dropping, but you're still holding on to it because you have hope that it would maybe uh, the drop will start in 2023 or 2024, or even further. So uh, yeah, when you start to know that every selling price is bound to drop already, I think that is already a telltale sign for you that you need to get out of that uh, situation. Yeah, so the, the, the key thing about Catalyst is an investment without a Catalyst, right, will always be asleep. Yes. You know, companies can look undervalued and it's great and all that, but if you don't get a catalyst, nothing's gonna yeah, drive or push. You know how like when you walk on grass, it doesn't really have a smell, but once there's a rain, mm. then there's a little, yeah, I can't yeah. remember the exact scientific name. There's a certain smell that comes yeah, up. Yeah. So it's the same same concept here I'll give. And you know, a catalyst can be anything, right? Can be industry change, can be changing CEO, can be surprise earnings can be uh, disposing unprofitable uh, business disposing unprofitable business or acquiring unprofitable business mm. uh, all sorts of things can be a yeah. catalyst and what is what should the catalyst affect the most important is that it affects the earnings yes right reduce cost increase cost increase revenue reduce revenue yeah that is what a catalyst is yes. and without it yeah. your investments will 
forever be a long term investment. Yeah. Okay. The fourth one, uh, this is a very easy one. Is valuation. If let's say the company's valuation is, I mean, you have to study in order to know whether are they high or low. Yeah. Because sometimes high valuation doesn't mean that it is expensive. Yeah. Sometimes low valuation doesn't mean that it's cheap. Yeah. So you need to know what is really the business growth in the future. So, you know, with valuation, it renders you getting right on all the other first three, like the business not company. unnecessary, but you don't have to be on point. Yeah. Right. If let's say you buy it at a low valuation, there's no catalyst. Okay. Like you just, you know, you move on, you buy it at a low valuation, but you know, management you found out is not so good. It won't tank as much as if the valuation was high. Yes. Because the expectation was high. So when the expectation is high, that is good. Then management suddenly showing that they are bad. Oh, huge drawdown. But if valuation is low, expectation is low, and then management is bad. Yeah, mm. standard line, not expected. You know what I mean? Yes. So like today, if we hear a Malaysian politician, you know, uh, true corruption we just flip to the next page yeah, right? okay, exactly. yeah, yeah right? we know it's a normal thing yeah, yeah but yeah. maybe if you're in singapore you're like Whoa, how can how can you know then all the freaking mothership and all that will start article right? yeah here today is this normal yeah, same exactly. with business fundamentals yep okay so these are the four points for you uh to actually like it's a signal for you to sell now guys if you're really interested in building a six to seven figure portfolio we've got the perfect solution for you Head over in the comment section or the description to sign up for our free masterclass where you can get all these proven steps to achieve it. Okay, so the next one we have here is when you can actually buy because now it's cheap, right? Uh, Howard Marks explained this very uh, clearly already. If let's say the company that you bought, you know it's a good company already and the price and the intrinsic value is getting wider and wider, uh, it should be a sign for you that I mean, it is a very bargain at a very even bar even more bargain price, even more cheaper. So yeah, I mean, I put here a picture already, uh, 40% down, should I should build? No, if it's a good company, just continue DCF. Uh, DCA. I, sorry, DCA, 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 yeah, 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 DCA. Sorry. <laughs> yeah I, I think this is very true, but then when the stock price fall, please analyze why it fell. Yeah. And whether or not it's rational. How do you know it's rational? Well, you have to study the companies. So that's why buying, selling, uh, valuation, things like that. Only makes sense after you've done the groundwork. Okay, so the last point here, of course, is whole, right? Okay, whole, it is only, uh, let's say the conviction still remains the same. Yes. Uh, I mean, there's nothing bad about the company. I mean, and you don't want to, let's say even for position sizing or so, you felt like this is like, a you're comfortable with holding that amount of mo uh, money into that yes. company. I believe you should, all right unless you discover another better opportunity than what you are currently holding. So yeah, it is actually just whether has your conviction changed. If it has, uh, yeah, then just do consider either uh, selling it off or just not doing anything. Yeah, and then the second point is just position sizing. Yeah, I think uh, usually you hold when you have no money. Oh, yes, you that's, know, very that's, true. <laughs> that's very uh, true. That's one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with regards to position size, sometimes if it's a big amount, you could, you know, just take the loss. But sometimes, like, okay, so give, for example, when I applied for SFP tax IPO, mm. I obviously tried to apply a more significant portion because yes. I know it's a good company. But obviously, I didn't get the allocation I wanted. I maybe got like 20%, 25%. So it's a small amount. So um, now in that case, it didn't lose money. Uh, but let's say if it did, I think the right move would have been to just hang on because it's so small anyway. Yeah. But the upside could be very big. So yep. again, uh, you have to analyze, right? It, it all depends on analyze. Thinking about when to buy, sell, or hold, right? It's not uh, something where you just wake up and like, okay, I'm going to sure buy, yeah. sell, and hold. That's not how you do it, right? It's you've done the work, in fact, if you do the work, you will you will get the answer. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's as it, simple as that. Yeah, it will come naturally to you, lah. Once yeah. you know everything already, yeah. Yes. Unless you don't know something, lah. Then yes. that's where you need to start. But if to you don't want on. to do the work, right? <laughs> we have this thing. Okay, of course you should always do the work. Yes. But if you know, we we know that maybe you have no time or you have family or 
maybe you feel like um, there's too much yeah. you know to do. Uh, let us help you shortcut this journey. Yes, right? we, we have a Fire Fire Pro. Yeah, and this is our performance so far. Uh, yeah. So far, I, I believe like eighty three percent or eighty seven percent of the stocks are in the green. Yeah. Uh, and actually, more than fifty percent of the company is actually growing at twenty percent. Uh, yeah. And we started this in August twenty twenty two, which is a yes. very short period of time. But of course, we want to do this for a very long time. Uh, and also to share with you guys our returns, how we actually going to be performing. So, um, in the next few years, is basically uh, you guys are actually our accountability uh, partner. Yeah. So just to check how is our performance and whatnot. And if you're interested to know more about Fire Pro, the link is actually in the description and comments. And also, if you're still not convinced, we have this free sample for you just to check out what is Fire Pro all about. Don't forget, we have the free giveaway. Uh, so if you're still watching this before uh, March, 6th of March, you still have time to actually register for this free giveaway. Just sign up to this Fire Free sample and follow the uh, the instructions that we're going to be uh, giving to you in the links in the description and comments. All right, guys, as usual, um, hope to see you in Fire Pro. If not, thanks for the support anyways, guys. Thanks for staying all the way until the end. You give You deserve a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.